Okay, so excuse the very excitable doggy in the back. Whee! Whoa, 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 whoa! Calm down! No, no, no! God, I'll get him. Anyway, that's where we're going up there. Savanac Forest once again. <laughs> going to look forward to this. Uh, yeah, this is going to be enjoyable. As long as it doesn't rain, we'll be okay. Hey, right, hello once again, YouTube uh, and Rumble. Uh, Andy here with another video. Um, right, so uh, today I've driven the 25 minutes from Swindon uh, over to Savanac Forest. I do prefer to go into the, the more kind of pine tree area, like over there, for instance. Um, I don't know what it is, I just prefer to, to fly in pine trees rather than places like this I mean looking at that there I mean if you were to rate that between 1 and 10 that's about an 8 uh, in the pine trees there's a lot more open spaces it seems like the branches don't come down as low as they do here and I like to fly low and slow um, so I do prefer to fly in the more pine forest area Okay, right, some of the oldest oak trees in Britain are actually in Savanac Forest, and there's one here. Unfortunately, it's seen better days. This is the, the Crocmere Oak. Uh, you can see that it's been upended. Uh, this tree is probably over a thousand years old, perhaps. My brother Wiltshire Man has done a fantastic video uh, of all the oak trees in Savanac Forest. I think there's about maybe seven or eight, or maybe even seven now because that one's been downed. I'll stick a link down below to his channel, so please go and check that uh, video out. Um, it's well worth a watch. Uh, it's a bit of wind around. You can see the tops of the trees are moving, so there's a lot of wind out there. Down here at uh, ground level, not much at all. Uh, the trees, the forest does tend to fill to the wind and dumb it down a bit. So I think this is a great, great little place to go and explore. So I set the drone out that way somewhere. I could have a nice little fly around there and just see what we can see. Okay. All right, here we go then. Attitude mode. Fly with, attitude mode. Fly with caution. Take off. <coughs> okay, right. Um, yeah, so uh, first flight around Savanac Forest, this part of the forest anyway. Uh, can we take the audio from up here, my, my cam cap? Obviously visuals from this as well and the drone and I've also got a camera up there. So uh, yeah, just a nice little flight around uh, this part of the woods and uh, just see what we can see. Hopefully it'll just be a nice gentle fly around the uh, forest floor just to uh, enjoy the, um, uh, just enjoy the forest really. Yeah. Now, have I got my white balance right, or do I need to alter that? I think I'll just leave it as it is for now. Yeah. Okay. Right, so thanks for those people who watched my last video. Do appreciate that. Um, yeah, I get an immense amount of pleasure just flying 
point updated. Just really around the forest. I mean, I haven't got to go belting it round and in a city somewhere or, or whatever else to get like lots of pleasure. This this really just ticks a box for me. Just doing this, it really does. Uh, and you can obviously see why. Yep. Um, yeah, I do prefer to fly in kind of um, pine tree forests. Uh, branches seem to be kind of a lot lower. Um, and I do fly low and slow, so there's less chance of me actually having some sort of an incident um, with a branch if I flow it if I fly it low and slow. Anyway, stick on the big screen, guys. I'll be able to see a bit more. If you do see something, just uh, and I and I don't and I miss it. Uh, if you could just like pop in the old comment section there, look, Andy. You now you missed a deer, or you missed this at this particular time because I I do miss things. I'm just so busy concentrating on my editing that I sometimes just happen to miss kind of what's important, really. Uh, but to me, just flying out here, getting some fresh air being part of this is important you know it's kind of like a spiritual experience let's say <laughs> without sounding without sounding uh, too much of a cliche but it kind of is for me you know um, yeah there is just something so uh, I don't know natural about being in the forest just just fly my drone I suppose just going to places where you wouldn't normally kind of set foot seeing things which perhaps you wouldn't normally see you can just see how wild it is and I just really appreciate the natural beauty this place actually has to offer you know so I'm I'm I'm, I'm out here getting some fresh air uh, I think this is good for my mind body and my soul I think you all need to uh, get into places like this especially at the moment where there just seems to be so much uncertainty around the world um, you know, we've been threatened with nuclear apocalypse and all this kind of thing <laughs> you know and if you're uh, an avid news watcher then I, I really do feel sorry for you because your mind must be in a, a bit of a state at the moment I know I know mine was when I was uh, watching the news avidly almost 24-7 you know as if I could change the news or something you know by my concerns and worries the world's going to do what the world's going to do and there's absolutely nothing you and I can do to stop it which is kind of like um yeah it's disappointing really because I'm, I'm pretty sure that most of us don't want any kind of a a nuclear apocalypse we just want the best for ourselves the best for our families you know so the world's going to do what it's going to do um, and I'm going to do what I want to do and what I want to do is to separate myself and divorce myself pretty much from the mainstream media and um, take control of my situation and this is what I do and this is how I do it I fly my little drone around places like this visiting different woods and different different forests just to see what I can see really and you might just be lucky and just see something quite amazing like you know a, a herd of deer or something which is really the icing on the cake for us in the UK because that's about as best as we can actually get okay right so I might get one or two little bumps on the way here guys you know it's I got my prop guards on I haven't got obstacle avoidance because that would be an absolute nightmare because that would be going off permanently uh, so really I've just got to fly by the seat of my pants and uh, just be really kind of vigilant of my surroundings and as long as I take it slow I'm not going to come to any any harm and if I do have a, a crash which I've had many by the way uh, normally the drone is is okay I mean the worst you're going to get is a a busted prop or something um, so yeah anyway let's get back into the forest I do like these places right, just make our way over here shall we and just to 
let's see what we can see. Yeah, whoops. Yeah. So, nothing spotted yet. I've not seen any deer or any wildlife or any movement. Don't know about you guys, but looking on my little screen here, I can't I can't see anything as yet. And there are some quite big herds of deer out here. Um, but it is such a vast forest, it's really they tend to kind of clump together some of the time. Um, so they might be in just one kind of part of the forest, one area, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Oops. Wee. Wee. There we go. Yeah. Ah, just nice to get out of the town and to get into a place like this it really is um uh, just a great escape really. Yeah, just stop lots to see. It really does uh, sharpen up your flying skills as well. It really really does. Yeah. Okay. Right, so I've not spotted anything yet. <laughs> but really it's just nice to be out here really. Just to just to do what I do. Yeah. Yeah, I think the problem with trying to find um, deer really in a big forest is because you know just because it's so big, uh, there's such a vast area where they can actually be, and um, it's really just trying to locate them is half the problem. Uh, but my whole intention here really is not to go out looking and to terrorise wildlife. It it really is just to fly my drone and to to bring the the wonderments of nature uh, to yourself. Because I I do realise that there are people um, who are unable to get out to places like this. And what my videos I hope to do is to bring them, you know, this you know experience to them. Whereas they would normally not be able to uh, to get out to a place like this, and and they are kind of missing out. I'm just going to bump my white balance up a little bit. Um, there we go. Make it a little bit more natural looking, let's say. Yeah. Oh, I see a little bit of a gap there. I wonder if I can just navigate under that um, fallen down branch. There's a bit of a challenge. Yeah, I think I can do that, you know. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Just about done it, I think. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> that was a bit closer than I actually wanted. But still, we've done it. Yeah, it's a bit of an obstacle course, this one, isn't it? As they all are, really. But it's fun. Okay, we're going to pop a, a new battery in. Uh, we just moved ourselves from around the corner there. We're now here. Uh, I'm looking at that over there. That looks um, quite challenging. I was in there just now. That's bad enough. Uh, but the trees there seem to be a bit more kind of closer together, uh, which presents a bit more of a challenge. So I think I'll go and have a fly around that part of the forest. Could be interesting. Okay, right, we can take off with caution. Attitude mode. Fly with caution. Attitude mode. Fly with caution. Take off. Okay, right. 
okay right so there we go so yeah flight number two uh we're gonna go off in that direction over there this is gonna be a bit tricky mine but <laughs> expect one or two bumps on the way okay this could get a little bit rough but i'm gonna take my time low and slow it's gonna be a tricky one but uh, i'm always up for a bit of a challenge you know me okay there we go let's take her down take her down here shall we uh -huh. Into the unknown we go. It looks quite scrubby, doesn't it? But um, interesting though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you do spot something, guys, just um, let me know. Stick a comment down below. Andy, you missed something at um, timestamp, whatever. It was like a, a wildebeest, or there was a Tyrannosaurus Rex or something, or a, an alien, or a Nephilim, <laughs> or whatever. You missed it, Andy, you missed it. How can you, how can you not see it? Right, I've so just got to go into my um, settings. Mmm, okay. Oops. Right, let's have a look. Let's have a nice cruise around the wood. Uh, just to see what we can see. Yeah, it's a great way to escape the city or to escape the town and just forget about life for a while. I'm just going to pop my white balance up a little bit, make it look a bit more visible, let's say. I've got to edit so much on my edit suite if I do that. There's probably an auto setting in here where I don't have to do it, it does it automatically, but I don't know, I just like to... Um, I don't know, I just like to alter it myself, I suppose. It can be a bit of a pain sometimes, but I think you can bring the best out the forest has to offer if you can do the white balance yourself. That's what I find, anyway. Alright, let's see what there is then. Oh, yeah. I think this would be really, really lovely first thing in the morning, and we're talking about half past ten in the morning, eleven o'clock now. I'd have thought on a on a lovely summer's morning when the mist is rising, this place would be absolutely awesome. Flying through it, low down. Yeah, that'd be really, really nice. That would be. Yeah. There we go. Here we go. Savanac Forest at its best, guys. Early spring. My favourite time of the year. What's your favourite time of the year? Summer, autumn? Autumn, be, can, autumn can be quite nice, I have to admit. But um, me, uh, I'm an early kind of a spring kind of a guy myself. That's my favourite time of the year. Yes, because we've got, you know, some fair weather coming, hopefully. You know, we've got the warmer weather coming. We've got the sunshine, we've got the warmth. We've got spring, summer, and then we're into the autumn. Autumn can be very nice, but, you know, it's all downhill from then, isn't it? And I'm not a great lover of the winter myself. Not really. Let's go this way. Yeah. Yes, I do like the... Um, I do like the spring... So, ooh, gotta be careful through here. There's plenty of things to hit and down the drone. Uh, I'm sure I'm gonna be okay. You're in safe hands, guys. You're in safe hands. I've had plenty of crashes, so you'll be okay. <laughs> I'm experienced in crashes, okay? A, a controlled crash. So if we do have a crash, I'm sure you'll be fine. So those of a nervous disposition are probably not best watching my videos because, um, you never quite know what may happen. <laughs> yeah. But a uh, bit of harmless fun, just flying through the forest and seeing nature firsthand. Going perhaps where you wouldn't normally set foot. Yeah.
Yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? Um, yeah, I find uh, flying around the forest floor uh, a lot more kind of satisfying, exhilarating perhaps than you would do if you're just hammering it round a field somewhere at altitude. I think kind of, um, oh, I'm just going to alter my white band and knock it down a little bit, looks a bit too bright that does. Yeah, um, yeah I, I just find this much more, much more to see, it's more chance of seeing something sort of interesting really when you're sort of on the on the forest floor let's say I do like forests um, because you know these drones can go places where you know you wouldn't normally set foot um, so it, it does act as a you know a, a great um, kind of accessory you know for that yeah um, no, see, if I was looking for deer, I've looking, looking, you know, whatever. I wouldn't necessarily um, come to this particular place. I just think it's a bit too, a bit too big for my kind of liking, really. Um, there's kind of better places to go to if I want to find deer or wildlife, perhaps. Um, but it, it's just a, it's just a wonderful place. Okay, it's asking me to come back now, so I will I will bring it back to myself now, I think. Okay, uh, right, so we successfully found our way out of the forest. I was over there somewhere, I had to walk all the way through. Uh, it was kind of interesting, hard work, mind. Uh, there's a lot of fallen trees and branches and whatever else you've got to nav navigate over. Uh, but just nice to, to see the forest kind of first-hand, really, but... Um, Got a bit of a walk back to the car now, so going to end the video here. So I just want to say uh, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my content on this video. I've certainly enjoyed my time out here. I'm going to go home now, make myself a nice cup of tea, sit down, take all my files from my cameras and try and make some kind of a video and make sense of it all, I suppose. So I just want to say thanks for watching. Uh, take care. More videos to come, no doubt. And uh, yeah, everything's good. Got the drone back. Everything's fine. And... Uh, yeah, thanks for watching and take care and bye for now.